So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite dish that I grew up, and I said I have a lot of memories as a childhood memories. It's called up gush. Up means water, gush means meat. Basically, you make a stew of the from lamb or beef, doesn't matter, with a lot of vegetables and a lot of spices. And it was an old-fashioned way of doing the whole lamb sham with the vegetable, bring it to the table, take the broth and use the broth with your crispy bread, make it as a fruit starter, as a soup, and then take the meat and all the vegetables, mash it, and use it as a spread with the bread to eat it. So let's start it. I already have um, braised my lamb shank already. So basically, you can find any recipe for the braising your lamb shank. The only thing I recommend on my braised that you put a little bit of cinnamon stick and some cumin, so extra flavor. So basically, I'm gonna take the, all the meat, no fat, no bones, add it to my bowl. So I'm gonna just show. Then I have some finger and potatoes, or any kind of potato with garlic. You can just basically, again, roast it in the oven with a little fresh rosemary and olive oil. You can use the beautiful olive oil from the start. And I'm gonna add some potatoes, some roasted garlic, and some of this, this juice, it's nice flavor. Then I have nice chickpeas already roast, uh, uh, cooked. You can buy the one from the can, and the, what I will do before using it, make sure you nicely rinse it and then use it. So we have the all the ingredients here to make a more deep flavor. So I have some homemade tomato sauce that you can make it at home or you can buy the beautiful one Italian uh, tomato uh, sauce from the stores. Add a little bit of tomato. Then some fresh parsley. Some of the olive oil. Gives a nice, nice aromatic and creamy flavor. Some salt and some pepper. So this is kind of fun part. So if you have a masher, you can use a masher. If you don't have it, no worries. You're drinking, you can use the bottle and mash your potato or some water glasses. It all works for you. So I'm not, in this case, the old fashioned when they used to use it in Iran in the glasses or they had a special metal one they used to have the mash. I'm gonna use this one, you can see it's so easy. To make it easier, a little more uh, mash easier. So I'm gonna put some of the juice from the lamb raisin liquid. So it gives a nice smooth and silky flavor. So just go ahead and mash it. So while you're mashing, I have already mashed one ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and show how to plate it. So I have my plate, I have a mold. You don't have to worry about the mold for a presentation we use a mold. You can just spoon it in the middle of the bowl. So this is the one pre already I mashed one, I have it and warm. So I'm gonna take it, just put it in the, my plate. Take it out. Then I have a, you can use the chicken stock or the vegetarian stock, any one you like. Chicken stock with a, some turmeric, some saffron, and um, cumin, and some, I have some fresh peas, English peas, and fava beans. Some of it again, reduction from the natural juice that you bra braise in liquid, you put on top for a deep flavor. And you can finish it with the olive oil. Start the olive oil a little bit. And to serve this one, I have a beautiful some pickled vegetables called torshi is a citrusy, is it gives a deep flavor. Combination of the pickled and lamb, and then you have the olive oil aroma and some bread. It'll be a nice, full, satisfying, and flavorful meal to enjoy yourself.